Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're finding my videos interesting and informative. And hopefully uh, these videos are helping you out as you collect coins from around the world and the US. Uh, the object of the, this uh, video is to at least give you some ideas and some tips on collecting uh, world coins and also being sure that you're able to find coins that have value and of course uh, also enjoy your uh, collecting experience so when you buy these coins you're not just collecting uh, for your hobby but also as you continue to collect and grow with experience uh, that you're able to uh, get some nice scarce to rare coins that will continue to increase in value and uh, definitely uh, will uh, uh, enhance your collection so when it is time for you to sell uh, you do get a good return uh, when you decide to liquidate your collection um, so today what we have is a very nice uh, pair of 1946 new zealand florin uh, these are very popular coins. Uh, these are used basically on a daily basis as a commerce coin. So a lot of these coins did see circulation and melted down. So finding nice high grades are extremely difficult. Uh, the 1946 uh, has a decent mintage, but uh, as you try to acquire them in nice uncirculated or levels of uncirculated, it gets pretty scarce to extremely rare. Uh, so you see uh, two 1946 coins. Uh, one is the normal strike, uh, which is uh, a very nice strike. And the other is on the right is a also 1946, but it is a transition coin. Of course, the transition means that it has a different reverse. So it is a variety. The one on the right has what you call a flat back on the, 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 on the bird itself. And so we'll look at the coin uh, and then uh, give you an idea what you need to look at to differentiate one from the other. Um, let's turn these over. And and we look closer at the coin. So the normal 1946 is on the left. And of course, you'll note that it has a rounded back to it. Uh, so this is a very popular year due to the fact that it has a limited mintage, but still it is a large mintage, but in uncirculated condition or in higher grades in uncirculated condition, it is extremely scarce to rare. Um, on the right, you have the transition coin, uh, which is the flat back, which is the, the same die used for the 1947 and also the following years. So only a very few of the reverse die with the flat back was used with the 1946. Uh, so again, uh, this is a, a very scarce uh variety since only a few of these coins uh use the flat back uh, for 1946. noted the flat back on the very top you can see the flat how sharp it, it is as far as the flatness of the coin and also note that the 1946 flat back has also a difference uh if you look closer at the coin, you'll know that the flat back has five lower whiskers, okay? Compared to the normal back, which has only four. Again, so this is gonna be the difference here. The normal one has four lower whiskers and the flat back has five whiskers along with a very nice flat back to it compared to the normal 
curved or rounded back. So these are the difference between the two. And as you hunt for these coins, uh, they are still out there. So if you come across the 1946, and you can definitely distinguish one from the other by the number of whiskers on the lower part of uh, the kiwi bird. Uh, definitely, again, it ha the, the flat back has five lower whiskers and a flat back, whereas the normal has four whiskers and a rounded back. Uh, the flat back in a nice, brilliant, uncirculated could run you between eight to fifteen hundred dollars, depending on how nice of uncirculated level it is in. So definitely, uh, if you do uh, find one like that, at least you can determine which one you have, either the round or the flat back. But the key is look at the whiskers. One has four, the other has five. Well, hopefully this information is useful to you, especially if you collect uh, coin varieties from New Zealand. Uh, definitely something that uh, you, if you do come across on the 1946 and you happen uh, to note that it has five whiskers and a flat back and it is in high grade, definitely you will definitely have a nice price coin that is highly uh, collected and extremely uh, scarce to rare in, partic in that particular high grade. Uh, uh, if you wanna receive more information on other varieties, uh, as I uploaded them to my uh, channel, uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you wanna give me some comments as to what other coins you would like to see, and if I do have it, definitely I will uh, do a video on it. Uh, so please subscribe uh, and, of course, share the video with other collectors. Till next time, you have a great day.